In today's video, I'm doing some boring sea photography. Hang on a minute. What I mean by that is I'm doing some photography of the sea and the sea is boring. Not that the photography is boring, at least I hope not. Uh, I'll tell you what, why don't you just watch the video and make up your own mind. Today the weather forecast looked promising for a nice sunrise sky. Lots and lots of uh, high cloud, very little low and middle cloud. I'm not sure if that's panning out or not. It's a job to tell while it's still dark. I guess we'll get a better idea later on this morning. I'm at Yop Marie. Haven't been here for a while. Thought I'd come out here this morning and see what we can shoot. I hope you'll enjoy the video. If you do, and you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe before you go. I've been here about 25 minutes now. I think it's important to arrive early and have a good look around, assess the scene, assess the conditions. And it's the conditions today that are perhaps causing me the biggest problem. Um, that sky could turn out to be really nice. But the sea is pretty dull. It's, there's no decent waves breaking, even if I go around kind of over this side which is less sheltered um, there's not much in the way of wave interest there so the sea is not going to be a feature and I'm thinking even that I'm going to want a long exposure on the sea just to, to flatten it out so now the important thing is working out how to get a composition that's going to work with that And that's kind of what I'm struggling with. I've got a feeling that maybe shooting across the, uh, the rocks there might work. Try and get some layers in if I can get the right height. off of the, the sea little pool in the rocks that kind of leads across to the rocky areas sticking out there and then that leads around to the land and across to uh, more land in the distance with the nice colors in the sky So the sun itself isn't putting in an appearance. It's uh, blocked behind clouds. I can see the light from the sun out as a glow out there above the sea. So I'm taking this opportunity to do a long exposure. Dropped in a six stop filter along with a three stop ND grad. And I'm doing one minute. 
which one she's now. Even though there's a lot of empty sea out on the right hand side, because it's got light reflected in it, I think it kind of works. I'm wondering whether to go for an even longer one and really try and blur the sky, maybe two minutes. Let's give it a go. I'll bring the ISO down from the base ISO of 64 down to the low one setting. Set a stopwatch. Try two minutes. sun is actually starting to come through the clouds so I'm not sure it's going to work. It's not a defined sphere so it might do. Okay yeah I've got another two minute exposure running because the sun's gone back behind the clouds again. Uh, to get two minutes on this one I've had to go to f16 with the ISO on the low one setting. Three stop, hard edged ND grad and a six stop MD filter and we'll see May well be time to think about packing up and heading for home. Uh, the weather forecast said there was going to be lots of high cloud, no middle cloud, no low cloud. Um, what we've actually got inland is some quite nice sort of patchy high cloud, but out to sea, no low cloud, middle cloud. It's blocked the sun. The sun hasn't actually really broken through at all. Um, so that's a bit of a shame, but uh, you know that's why I say you, you need to arrive nice and early and really assess the scene and have a look and see what's what's actually going on. Um, I was hoping for maybe some bigger waves here as well this morning to add some interest in the sea, but uh, very quickly became apparent that wasn't going to happen. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, just give it a like share it on social media leave me a comment of course and as I said at the beginning if you're not already a subscriber please hit subscribe before you go as always I really appreciate you taking the time to watch so thank you very much and until the next video bye <laughs>